A four-year-old is headed to college this morning, but the toddler is not going to be studying. That's because Umi, the four-year-old, is actually an Egyptian child mummy from the Cincinnati Museum Center. Now, while the Museum Center is under construction, the exhibit's moving to the College of Mount St. Joseph so the community can still experience the piece of history. That's where we find nine on your side's Allie Kramer as they prepare for the big move. Allie. All right, well, we are inside the library and very early this morning. We're allowed to be a little loud because we are at the new temporary home of Umi. We're learning a little bit about the science of mummies here at Mount St. Joe University. What I can tell you is that there's still a little work to be done in this temporary exhibit. And that, of course, as you mentioned, is because of the renovations going on at the museum center. So here we are. This is it. This will be the new home for that four-year-old mummy, Umi. But this morning, we are joined by Dr. Gene Kritsky, and he is the chair of the biology department here at Mount St. Joe. Talk to us a little bit about your research and your study with Umi. Well, Umi's a, a fascinating individual. He had loving parents. He died somewhere around 140 CE, and uh, he was buried with a series of amulets, uh, talisman. Some people wear crucifixes, for example, to ensure that he would enter the afterlife and have a, a future future. And you're, you mentioned some of these amulets, and they're also here behind us on the wall. You can kind of see. So how do we know about all these amulets? And are some of them very specific? Some are very specific to Umi, uh, but mostly you can find amulet maps on a lot of mummies. And you, for example, you'll find amulets that represent uh, resurrection of life, protection of the organs, and so on. The one that's unique to Umi is the amulet of a long-headed animal that may be a giraffe or, or whatever. It, has the, it stands for the hieroglyph of neck of the neck. And... Uh, to mummify him, they had to remove his head to pull the brain out for mummification. And then to restore the functioning of the neck, they put that amulet on the body. Wonderful. Very interesting. So again, they are moving in Umi later today. We are going to be here for that, and we'll show you it just as soon as everything is settled in the box. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right.